Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Activities for People Living at Home with Dementia. My name is Martha Brown, and I am your volunteer with Dementia Friendly Fort Worth. We are proud to offer this series with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way of Tarrant County. These programs are recorded and are made available for viewing through a YouTube channel for future use. I am your host for today's activities, and our topic today is Childhood Show and Tell with your host, Gail Snyder. Gail, take it away. Well, I thought you were going to host today, Martha. <laughs> Whatever works for you works for me. I just want to hear from our people. Uh, I am so excited to see what you all have brought today. And do we have a volunteer of who would like to go first? See, we're all shy. Crickets. I can go first. Yes, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go first if no one else wants to. Go ahead. Well, go, Janine. You're on the way. middle of my screen, so go for it. All right. I never did find the one particular painting that I wanted to show you guys, but I have artwork from my childhood. Um, and I don't know where the, uh, the real one that I, that I very first thought of when we did this, I never did find it, but I have several others that I want to show. And, um, let me get. So artwork was something you really <laughs> organized as a child. This. Say again. So artwork was something you really loved as a child. Oh, yes. I loved to draw. Um, and my artwork changed through the years. I took art in school um, a lot. And um, this is a self-portrait piece that we had wow. to do when I was young and had long hair. Wow. Um, Very nice. Mm -hmm. And it was a line drawing. So there's nothing but straight lines. I see that, and, yeah. And that thing. So I, I can't get my picture to go big so that I can see what, there it is, so I can see better what you guys are seeing. Okay. Um, so that was the second piece that I definitely wanted to show you. And there are lots and lots of others, so I'll try to go faster. This is a magazine picture that I took and made a painting of. Oh, that's nice. Very wow. nice. Beautiful. That's so expressive. Doesn't have a date <laughs> on that one. Uh, and this one was a, a sketch study in hands. Oh, wow. oh my hand. goodness. Mm. Hands are hard to draw. Yeah. Yes. That was a very difficult assignment um, for me. Uh, oh, another self-portrait. Oh, Looks cool. like you're thinking. Very nice. Yes. That's great. I lay, with, I lay like that a lot. Y'all have seen me in this pose many yes. times, yeah. I'm sure. Yes, mm -hmm. I, that, was, I, that, that was not a recent thing. <laughs> <laughs> This is another of my favorites. It reminds me of my Uncle Belma. And I did this one as a contrast between city oh. and country. Oh, yeah. Wow. There. Mm. The woods. That's very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a part very there. nice. And would you, what, about how old would you say you were when you were doing all of these, Janine? Um, this one, I think was probably about 10th grade. Um, okay. the self portraits were younger. At, well, maybe not. Um, from 10th, then 10th grade. I don't know. Um, the one I wanted to show you for the first one I thought of was from second grade and mm. I can find it. I do not know where it is. Uh, um janine yeah 
let me tell. Uh, I got a letter from you. I don't know if you remember when you were really young, like second grade or whatever. Ooh. And you had drew some pictures, some drawings in the the uh, letter, and beautiful. I mean, not beautiful, but exact stuff like little dogs' heads and such. And uh, underneath it, she wrote, "Drew these, not traced." <laughs> <laughs> And I drew them from this book. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love it. It has uh, specific instructions about how to draw yep. dogs and um, all kinds of different things yeah. like that. Um, and that this is one of the books that I used for drawing when I was growing up. And then I did this one for uh, oil painting. So and how old were you when you sent that letter? I have no idea, but probably upper elementary school, I would say. This is one of my oil paintings. I don't know what how old I was with that either. Didn't have anything on it. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Mm. That one was um, colored pencil, I think colored pencil on paper covered up with paint and then scratched off. Mm, nice. Beautiful. That reminds me of those um, paintings that they used to do where the paper was like a velvety paper mm -hmm. and the page was imprinted into the the velvety paper. Mm. That's what that looks like. Mm. There's my basketball team from either sixth or seventh grade. Oh my Let's goodness. See. I'm number five. Where am I? Right there. Second row to the top. Good Where eye, John. Yeah. So, um, Were you a guard or a... Uh, I was a uh, high point, low point, and I did, I played center a couple times, but not, not as a three. Uh -huh. This was a monochrome assignment. Mm -hmm. Wow. Remember. <laughs> Most of these do not have dates on them. It's driving me insane. But back uh, then, you didn't uh, quite think that was important. No. Uh, but these were all school assignments. So uh, this, I think, was not a school assignment. I think I did these when I was a young adult. But you said, you know, I told you I like color and abstract. Yeah. Ooh, wow. those, those are nice. Hold, hold up that last one again. They looks like feathers. Yeah, it does. Wow. What's or, or, How did or, you... or a woven cloth or something. Oh, yeah. You know, one of those, those rugs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what it looks like to me. I like that. Yeah. I really like that one. I like it a lot. Um, it wasn't intended to be anything except for abstract art, so you can read into it whatever you like. Right. <laughs> Almost done. I might be well, I'm not going to show my art piece now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, the last one. This one actually has a date on it. And um, I did this painting. It, I think it's acrylics. Um, nope, this is not the one with the date on it. I got a 90 on this. Um, I think I was <laughs> in 10th grade as well. And I did this painting and my teeth, it did not have any of the black lines in it. And mm. my teacher said there wasn't enough contrast from light to dark. Oh, because um, it was just all kind of run together. And I had that problem a lot, a lot of my work. Many of the comments on these things are talking about adding more contrast and distance between light and dark. And I find I finally figured out that if I just put some black lines all over it, it would take care of that problem. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, I like it. You succeeded with the black. <laughs> that was only in the eye of the beholder. That's you know, right. if you had put um, no lines in it, somebody else would say, that's beautiful. That's right. 
you know, well, so. From, but being in art class and they're trying to get me to do that kind of everything in the middle of the road because um, you're because you're trying to get a grade too that's right <laughs> yes yes <laughs> and um yeah i i had to work really hard to get a's in art um i was i made a's and everything else easy <laughs> but art was work to get there but, See, once you're out okay. of school, you don't worry about the grades. You just get the money. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we have time at the end or maybe another time, I'll show some of my Bob Ross paintings. I have three painting oil paintings that I did as an adult from watching the <laughs> Bob Ross show. Okay. But I don't want to take your time. That'll be fun. All right. Who would like to go next? Hi, Roy. Okay. You're up. Okay. Here's my little toy. This goes back to when I was a baby. Hi, Kitty. Oh my gosh. Oh. My little teddy bear. Oh. I haven't, I can't see it yet. Oh. Ah. Oh. Does he have a name? Sweet. No. <laughs> it's just oh. Teddy. Teddy. Little teddy. Just Teddy. He's been with me since I was a baby. Wow. I'm wow. 80 years old now. I is, so good. It's it's hard to tell from the picture, but what is his fur texture like now? Uh, it's more like cloth than fur. Okay. Okay. That's really so warm. It's kind of just he <clears throat> shed it over time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like he has some fur left on the bottom of his belly. Yeah. And, yeah, under, his, yeah, and under his right yeah. arm, and on his ears. Yes, he does. Where do I want to put it? Over to your left, right there, up. There you go, up. Up to your right. And to yeah, right there. Oh, that's right. cute. Oh, there, that's that is cute, oh, yeah. Hello. A lot of memories. Oh, yeah, yeah. And are his eyes buttons, or are they regular um, um, eyes? It looks like they're glued on, but they're glass. Okay. They're glass. Because okay. I don't think 80 years ago they were using much plastic. Mm -mm. And the mouth is that like um, the stitched, a stitch? stitched, yeah, stitched. Very fun, oh, yeah, oh, very fun. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah, he's not. I mean, he's wriggle free at eighty. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but you said okay. he's bald now. Yeah. So uh, he sits on my bookshelf every. I mean, so I see him every day. Good. I've always had him with me. <laughs> so. Well, yeah. that's neat that you have something like that from such a long time ago. Mm -hmm. What surprises yeah, me is, is that some sort of moth or something hasn't eaten him. Mm -hmm. It hasn't rotted over time. So anyway, there you go. Oh, that's yep. sweet. Teddy bear. Oh. Mm -hmm. So do you have a story about Teddy? No, just that I love him and he went with me wherever, no matter where we moved, no matter where we went. My mother was always after me to get rid of him and I never would. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that's Teddy. We've been together for Thank 80 so much. years, guys. 80 years. <laughs> He's got Thank same you. power. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for letting me do it. Thanks for listening. All right, who's next? Don? I'll go, I'll go next, yep. All right. What's that? Let's see. I have this scrapbook um, that I uh, that uh, my mother saved. And uh, it, the first two pages show you basically my, my, my kindergarten. And I started art early in kindergarten. Oh, uh, wow. Very good. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so that's kind of a dinosaur space monster. <laughs> <laughs> and the other side is uh, uh, one of those rickshaw, rickshaw tests mm -hmm. that uh, I drew funny faces on. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's see what else. 
He didn't think I had this. He was. I'm we, so surprised. We, we went down memory lane all day yesterday looking at things. Oh, how <laughs> fun! That is fun. Yes. So here is a, a certificate I got for being in the um, Future Scientists of America. Uh, you are uh, How appropriate. Uh, that's right. Uh so I I uh, that, that uh, uh, I went they had special like camps or classes that you go to in the summertime. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cool. What year was that, Don? Is there a date on it? Yeah, it's uh, 68. 68, 1968. I was 11. Okay. Wow. Wow. And that was before we went to the moon. So that rocket was um, um, a precursor. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. This is kind of funny. My certificate of, to, of to being a, a pianist. <laughs> this is what the this this is what everybody got. It's like the everybody got got something for for playing. Mm -hmm. Participation yeah. award. Yeah. For showing up. Yes. Let's see what else here. For tickling your ivories, no matter how it sounded. That's right. That's right. <laughs> How old were you when you played piano? Um, I was what? I lived in South Carolina for a while. Was playing piano there. I, I was before. I, I was probably playing piano to six from '68 up to uh, '73, probably 1973. This is my sports uh, 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 team. I was a baseball. I, was a, I played baseball. I was in left field. Um, because I had trouble catching the ball. So <laughs> this is actually me right here. There's a, there's a, check, there's a red check mark above, above my head. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Looks just like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard to see. And then this one, let me get it right. There you go. Red, Going to Boy Scout camp, my troop, my Boy Scout troop in South Carolina. Cool. You were busy. Oh, they kept me. They didn't want me to roam around the streets. <laughs> With the mind of an engineer, you needed to be busy. Uh, you're right. Yes. Well, when I was growing up, Boy Scouts is the way to keep the kids, boys, busy. That's keep right. Them off the streets. And and. Yeah. Parents got a weekend off every once in a while when we go, when we go camping. Well, show them that. Okay. Here's part of, he's an Eagle Scout, and here's a page of just part of his work toward uh, being an Eagle. Yeah. Mm. These wow. are the cards that I got, I have badges uh, that went on my sash that goes with these cards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know where my sash is. I think it disappeared. I had for many years actually the old uniform, the wool ones. Yeah. You know, and I actually had a, a gentleman from South Texas someplace as I was growing up. And of course, he was, it was too small for him, but he asked me if I had any because he was allergic to the new cloth, to the polyester. But he could wear the wool, but could, mine were yeah. just too small, you know, for him at that point. But uh, hmm. you know, they they weren't wool's not as hot as you think when you get no, out it's in not. the no, it's actually cooler than polyester many times. Yes, and, and, uh, that was right. natural fiber. I'm going to show you this one because uh, Boy Scouts has a, a a camp that everybody in the nation, all the Boy Scouts in the nation went to. It's in Upper Northeast New Mexico called Philmont. Mm -hmm. Emory. Oh. Yep, Philmont. Yep, that's right. <laughs> And uh, I got this is my acceptance letter to uh, to to it. And you notice my name is Leroy Gasser because that's my middle name. They dropped my first name. I don't know if you, can you see that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So this was a trip that was not my troop. It's just me and another guy, and we ended up going out there and we had uh, 
uh, we didn't have, uh, we had, we had one, uh, one guide that took us everywhere since there was only two of us, or actually there was three of us when we got there. Uh, we walked all over the place. So we, we had a good time. That was his, that was his first time. He went to Philmont several times. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And here I am getting my Eagle Award. Oh, God. Mm. You were in that's, the paper. I was in the paper, yeah. In Chester, well, that's, an, Carolina, that's a, a big deal. Mm -hmm. That's a great accomplishment right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I wish I'd have went that far. Yeah, I, got, I got the life, and the problem, I, the only thing I had left was a service project, and I never had really guidance on what to do for a service project. Uh, yeah. And that, that was, you know, I could have done it, but, you know, nowadays when I see what the kids do, I kind of say, huh? <laughs> yes. what? Yeah, it's, it's a lot kind of cheesy, now. you know, a little bit. But anyway, have they done it? I, yeah, my, my my mind it had to be something great and fantastic, and I never had that encouragement or that a, a mentor or somebody to help me. Mm -hmm. They say if you are, were an Eagle Scout, you put that on your resume, that that helps tremendously on your yeah, resume. Absolutely. absolutely. Yes. <laughs> All right, there's two more things I'll show you. This one, so uh, this one is my, I, I was fingerprinted by the, the Chester uh, Police Force. Um, not because I got in trouble, but uh, they, were <laughs> old brick, they were on an old brick uh, um, firehouse, or I guess firehouse, and up in the attic of it, they let you go up there and shoot 22 uh, rounds at targets mm -hmm. in the attic of the, I guess the brick walls. So uh, <laughs> oh, wow. that, that was why they needed me to, 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 to fingerprint me, to, to yeah. identify yeah. me if, so if I, if my gun say, did something else. It does say applicant in the top corner. So that, uh, like that a, helps. Like in Texas, if you have a license to carry, you have to have be fingerprinted before they yep. approve yep. it. Yeah. Yep. And that's why I don't have my license to carry yet because I can't make myself go give them all 10 of my fingerprints. Folks, I'm going to have to leave for today. All right. I will see you on Monday because tomorrow I've got a doctor's appointment. Okay. So we I will see you Monday. You we should let you go early. What did you bring? I, I've got to go to another Zoom. I've got Oasis okay. today. So. What, what you, okay, well, we'll have to let you share another day. All right. Thank you. Okay, bye, -bye. bye. 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 Good luck. Okay, this is kind of the final for me. This is my senior picture right here cool. when I was in high school. Wow. So they put they put this in the Hoisington uh, Hoisington uh, dispatch. dispatch the local paper pa local paper and it listed all all the seniors in my class and uh, let's see Myers in here somewhere too. Y'all started dating when you were in your mid-teens, didn't you? Well, well when, we were, when we were high school. 16. Uh-huh. So how long have y'all been together? We've been married for, uh, well, we've been together for, uh, um, uh, uh, oh, we've been together trying to go into high school. Um, 40, 46 years. 46 years. We've been married 43 years. How long have you been, long have been married? 43 years. We got you beat by 10. <laughs> okay, here's the, the, the same, uh, the same uh, uh, place. There's Myra when she graduated. Oh, wow. Oh, ah, here's our girl. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. That's all I got. Thank you, Don. All well, right. Thank you, thank you for having me. Cool. Nancy, do you have something to share? Mm -hmm. I, I did have one article. Okay, well, let's see it. Oh, okay. I was born, uh, I mean, I had my childhood in Northern California. Okay. At a sawmill camp. Wow. Oh, a sawmill oh, a saw saw camp. <coughs> this is a dress that Warren High School was taking. Okay. I don't know. Uh, not yet. Oh, you can't see it, can you? Um. Let me pick it Try up. holding it up in front of you. Okay. So oh, there, wow. you go. there you go. 
Oh, wow. Oh. Sweet. That is a shirt waist dress. Of, of, of seat. And there's a oh, dog. my God. I got an old prom dress. A poodle dog. Oh, it's oh, a, a poodle, poodle skirt. Poodle yeah. skirt. It's a poodle skirt, yeah. A poodle so, skirt. Oh, I love it. Oh. I can remember a lot of high school of doing the Bebopalooba with the uh, yeah, I bet. I bet. white Oxfords. Yeah. We had to wear or we wore. So did your mom make your dress? No. Did you make it? One. She did make a lot of my clothes, so yeah. And it, that looks like it's a pale pink. A what? Is it pale pink? Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. It looks like it has little tiny pleats at the top. There's Is it little, little tiny pleats at the top? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you. Very nice, Nancy. Thank you so much for sharing. Top is like that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Piping. Boy, that, that's not easy. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, what a memory. All right. Dusty? Well, I didn't get ready, so I forgot about it. But uh -huh. I told y'all already about the maracas I got when I was 14 in Mexico. So these are 60-something years old. Wow. <laughs> and I have all my yearbooks i didn't even think about that uh showing pictures of it so what are the but, maracas uh, made out of gourds i think yep, probably and they're, and they're painted red on the outside yes and they're uh just rep made out of regular wood uh, uh -huh. for, the, for the, the handle, handle. yeah but that uh that was in uh, Nogales. Oh, okay, right. I've been there. Right across from Douglas. My, we went to see my uncle who uh, was a bartender in this <laughs> bar in, Nog in not Nogales, but uh, what did I say the American city was? Uh, oh, man. I'm having one of them spells. Uh, I can't. Been there, done that. <laughs> anyway, the the, the American side, he lived there for a long time and we went to see him on a vacation. One of the few times my father was with us. We, my mother got divorced the first time when I was eight and uh, she actually married him two other times. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is one of the times when they got back together and uh, And then I lost my train of thought there. Nogales and your but, maracas, and you went to visit your uncle. Yeah. Oh, I know that we that was uh, a precursor to us going to uh, precursor is the wrong word. That was immediately before we went to uh, Virginia. He was stationed in Fort Lee, in Virginia. He was a uh, uh, military in the military in the army uh most of i can't even talk this morning we love you he was uh anyhow he retired ra but he was in the reserves and national guard and all different stuff through his life until but he had 20 years enough to retire good and that's what I, I remember telling you and you may remember that when we went to fort lee actually it was hopeful virginia where we lived uh when we packed they put my records up over the back seat oh yes and uh, mm. the ones on top warped yep oh yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate it when it, I hate it when it happens. Yeah. I still have some old seventy eights. Oh, I've got probably a, a stack 
I'm almost two foot wide of. Oh my gosh. The LPs I still have. I wonder if my Elvis Presley ones are worth anything. I bet they are. Probably. Albums yep. are coming back. People yeah, vinyl's are, coming back. Vinyl's a big yeah. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I here, bet they're worth a lot. Here's my prom dress. Oh, all right. Oh, beautiful. I see it yet. I switched screens. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, Paula. Pretty and pink. Yeah. That was in the 50s, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. That's almost the same color of pink as Nancy's dress. It is, yeah. isn't it? A little bit brighter, but yeah. And I had a prom dress. Very are. similar. Very it similar. Was a trying to wear a slap, uh, 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 a strapless dress with nothing to hold it up. <laughs> Except a real tight zipper. Woo -hoo! Been there, done that. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, here it is. Happy prom day. Yep. I just couldn't resist fetching. Thank you. Oh, thank you for sharing. God, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, Myra. Well, you... I'm I'm going I'm going to go down a little different path. Oh, goody! A toy. Tom's going to hold that up. Oh, that is my wait, moo, wait, moo wait. cow that I had probably from when I started walking and I walked very early on and I kept wearing Ooh. the wheels out. So my dad made wheels to put on there <laughs> the moo, and it still makes the moose sound. Hold it up higher so we can see the wheels. Aha. Go daddy. So can we hear the sound it makes? Here. I'll let Meyer do it. I think it's gonna you might have to drag it across the desk yeah oh there you go oh. <laughs> <laughs> i loved this silly oh. cow i don't know why that is so precious uh, who made it, oh, I mean, it. was that uh, uh fisher price toys yeah fisher wow price. Oh, my they God. Sure a lot of good crazy. stuff uh -huh. I bet that's worth some money. It it might be. Yeah. Um. Is. Here is a picture. Oh wow! Of oh. in a there was a lake outside our house, but I had a tendency to run off, so they always turned the crib or the playpen upside down to keep me where I was. <laughs> So that's the pin behind me, you can see. Wow. But I was a good girl. I was just busy. That's right. Child abuse. <laughs> Child abuse, that's right. Nowadays, it wouldn't be. But back then, it was fine. Yep. <laughs> and then I've just got one more that I don't even remember when I did this. Oh wow! But it's I've it's got wow. to be young because of how I signed it. Mm -hmm. Can you see the That's see cute. my signature there? Uh huh. My Ryan. Yeah. My Ryan. <laughs> I love it. But of course, like you, Janine, it's not dated. Of course. <laughs> so I and I'd forgotten I even had that when we were looking for some of Don's stuff. We came across it. Oh, it fun. looks like it's it's a it's 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 painted on a on a, a canvas a canvas that's attached to a board. Yeah, and, uh, we, board. we think it might be a, a acrylic paint. Uh, it's hard. It's, it's not hard, watercolor. It might, I don't think it's watercolor. I think it's acrylic. Mm -hmm. Or maybe maybe yeah. it's oil. I don't know, Mara. I don't remember. <laughs> now, water watercolors are usually more pale, and they kind yeah. of run into the texture of whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that that boat picture I showed you was a work. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So Ma Martha? Yes. What did you bring? Um, share screen. <laughs> I was three years old in the backyard. There oh, you there go. You are. Yeah. I look just like myself. 
<laughs> yeah. That was the skinniest I ever was. Same <laughs> smile. The same smile. That's yes. right. Yes. I know that feeling. Been smiling all my life. That was the garage behind me, and the swing was in a tree, and uh -huh. we had an outhouse. And where was this at, Martha? Cooter, Missouri. Cooter. 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 I think I Cooter. That. What's it's it in there? Southeast, southeast Missouri. St Sykeston, Carruthersville, Steele, mm -hmm. Cooter, New Madrid. Uh, yep. Yep. I grew up in St. Louis. We lived in Cooter. I grew up in St. Louis. And how, about how old were you in this picture? Uh, I was three years old in the swing. I barely remember those flat bottom swings. And I oh. hated it when they turned into those rubber things. That oh, came. I know. I did, oh. It always hurt. Yeah. Well, they were hot. They were. Yeah. I didn't care. I just wanted to jump, go high and jump out of them. <laughs> <laughs> we had a big iron swing set in our backyard, and it had the bar on it. So you could do tricks on the bar. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And then the wooden seat of the swings that was on a chain. Mm-hmm. Boy, oh. those were the days. Boy, oh, I love that swing set. Oh, my gosh. It's my favorite thing to do. Let's go swing. Let's go swing. Yeah. And then different things back in those days, if you wanted to wear a swing on now. <laughs> <laughs> this other picture I have <clears throat> was in the second grade. And girls had to wear skirts in the school I went to. And oh, I really? had asthma and was sick a lot. So the day we took pictures, I wore blue jeans under my skirt. And that's why I remember so well. And the necklace that I have is right oh. here. Oh, my. I still have. Martha, we don't see the new picture yet. You don't? No. No. You're still in the swing. You have to stop share and start again, I think. Oh, yeah. okay. If you choose share photo, you have to stop and start it every time. If you choose share screen, then you can switch between photos. How's that? Oh, oh there, you are. Are. Yeah. there you go. Great. And here are my beads. I love it. Ooh. I still have them. Are they pop it beads or all They're pop screen? beads, yes. They are pop beads. <laughs> They're your Mardi Gras beads. The precursor to Mardi Gras beads, yes. Yes. I got these for my sixth birthday. And oh, uh, I remember playing with those. So these are my pop beads. Stop share. And one of the books that I grew up with was the bumper book. Okay. And is that a dance? Here again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Ooh. I don't you. Okay. There we are. Oh, yeah. Cool. I've never heard of the bumper book. You should look this up. I like that part. It's a real classic. Watty Piper. I grew up in Nancy is Drew. The art. Is it uh -huh. country rhymes? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the, the poem I love best in the world to this day, I'm going to show you the picture. All of the pictures had round oh. cheek to children. Oh, there you go. Sweet little faces. Yep. And the poem says, how do you like to go up in a swing, up in the air so blue? Oh, I do think it the pleasantest thing ever a child can do up in the air and over the wall till I can see so wide, rivers and trees and cattle and all over the countryside, till I look down on the garden green, down on the roof so brown. Up in the air I go flying again, up in the air and down. Oh, I love cool. it. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you for letting me share. I love going back in time. <laughs> I do too, but remember I told y'all I'm allergic to dust? Yeah. My nose has not stopped running since I went through all those pictures. <laughs> <laughs> is John with us? Does he have yes, a he is. Do you want to show him your uh, rocking chair? Yeah. 
You want me to show him your rocking chair? <laughs> um, he has a, a rocking chair that he had when he Is was a baby. Is there a song I can't be down my rocking chair? <laughs> um, and let's see if I can, oh, what had happened to me? Go away. Yeah. Uh, you see your ceiling. You see the ceiling. Printer. And, oh, and piglet. Oh, piglet. <laughs> I say piglet. P Piglet's his favorite thing. Uh, he loves piglet. So this is a uh, rock and chair with piglet. And at Christmas time, we have uh, Rodney the reindeer that we set in them. <laughs> we. That's precious. Uh, it was dusty too. I just noticed that I need to dust that thing. Put on a mask before you do it. I ought to do it now because it won't make a difference. You know, I'm going to go <laughs> do that. It could, it could make it worse. And she's gone to dust. <laughs> well, if you do it while you're thinking about it. Right. Hey, Martha, I looked up that book on Amazon. Uh-huh. $75.98. Oh, wow. 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 I love that book. So did you look up your cow while you were looking? I, I just no, told her that's to. what Doug just said. Look your cow up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Saki, you want up here? Well, I can't. Well, I just saw a article a little while ago talking about things that you you throw away that you should have kept oh my uh -huh. god yeah metal lunch boxes are worth money now does yeah. anyone have their old lunch box no john does gone Ooh. Where? Oh, my mother gave me a paper sack <laughs> so did, john, did john have anything he wanted to share that was his um the rocking his rocking chair okay I have one almost like Do you? I do. Show us. I got an old rocking chair, but it's downstairs. Yep, that's fine. I'll show it to you. Oh, my Moo Moo Cow is $44.50. Wow. Oh, it does look very much the same. So this is my rocking chair. Oh. It sits in the living room so my, that my grand, grandson can sit in it. It has not been refinished, as you can see. <laughs> it looks perfect. Looks and just like John's. Yep. One of the slats has a bad nail in it that needs repaired. But my older sister and I had rocking chairs just like this. And I think my grandparents might have got them in New Mexico on a vacation and my sister and me when she came along they bought her one of the smaller ones that had the rounded rods yes uh, uh -huh. and hers didn't last so she doesn't oh. still have hers that's sad sweet so that was a gift from your grandparents from my grandparents oh gail Hey, uh, I just want to show Myra has as a as a rocking chair also. That's uh, my mother's. It's her mother's rocking chair. Oh, wow. my goodness. Right, it's cloth. Just... Anywhere. Oh it's wow. Fabric on the back. Yep. Yes. Fabric on the back. The arms are wood and the seat's fabric. Oh, 1929. 1929. Oh wow. And what do the rockers look like? Right. We can't see the rockers on it. Ah, cool. We started a trend, John. Everybody's showing off their childhood rocking chair. <laughs> Mine's yep. downstairs, otherwise I'd bring it up. <laughs> That's cool. We're gonna tomorrow I'll start downstairs and show the old rocking chair. You got a story you want to tell about your rocking chair? I don't remember anything like that. Okay. I remember enjoying sitting in it. My grandfather had a had a chair, a rocking chair that he made when he was young. And he sat in it a while and I would sit in my little one. 
<laughs> and that's Boy, a lovely memory, isn't that's it? That's a good memory. Yeah. It is. I think we're going to need to have this part two someday. Well, um, I think oh, yeah. so. I had a message from Yetta and Hans, and they were sorry to miss. They are singing today. Yep. And she said, I hope you do this again. So we'll cool. have to schedule this again on oh, a yeah. Tuesday. On a Tuesday. So that Hans and Yetta can join us. That's a great idea. Cool. So, oh, so I'll we'll find some. <laughs> What's that, Dusty? I'll find some of my stuff then. Okay. Good. We'll go to next time. And when, I'll go last so, so so other people can have a chance. <laughs> so, Donna, I enjoyed your scrapbook because I have a scrapbook very much like that. Oh, yeah. Um, mine is orange. And I have Valentine from kindergarten and first grade <laughs> uh -huh. oh, wow. pasted in there with the names of who they're from. That's right. And it also includes birthday cards from my grandparents, napkins from weddings. Oh, right. <laughs> nice. And some school artwork. Cool. That's, that's You'll have to twist that. Well, I just packed it up into the attic because we started the construction upstairs. Yeah. Uh, All of the stuff that was in storage upstairs had to go up to the attic, so. It's moving on up, right? <laughs> Gail, you were going to take some before, during, and after pictures of what's going on upstairs, if you recall. Oh, I had forgotten that. Okay. So please take some snaps before they get too far down so we can see okay. what's done. Well, it's already changed quite a lot because the space that was a small kitchenette. Ooh. Uh -huh. So it had a counter and up above cabinets and a place for a refrigerator. All of that's gone and we've opened up the wall that goes into the attic and there's a shower pan on the left and the uh, plumbing for the sink vanity on the right. Okay. In that space already. So it's already changed. Wow. Okay. Well, we can see during and after. Yeah, so. Yeah, I bet somewhere in your life you have a picture of that room, don't you? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, <it's okay. laughs> because when we first bought the house, my dad was staying with us. Mm -hmm. And that was his space. Oh. And after he moved out, it's basically just been um, a room that's been collecting things extra furniture that won't fit any place in the house mm -hmm. and we're working on the downstairs everything that I packed up from downstairs to get it out of the way went upstairs All right mm -hmm. so except for the big furniture from the dining room we didn't put that up there but a lot of stuff was up there from downstairs so that's crazy so but this week Saturday, they will be working on moving the electrical outlets mm. and the light outlets. Wow. I will be baby showering. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, so we'll get them babies clean, are you? <laughs> <laughs> With those delicious cookies. Yeah. So, tomorrow I will be making the cake, and I'm still in a dilemma about the cake. <laughs> My daughter can't decide what kind of cake she wants because she doesn't have anything that's just she really wants. She loves raspberry filling. And so I thought about doing a French vanilla with raspberry filling. But I also love the texture of red velvet cake, mm -hmm. which is different than store-bought red velvet cake. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Very different. Mm -hmm. but the colors are green and so I'm thinking between the red velvet recipe except using green color instead of red oh that'd be nice oh, yeah. do it uh, I like it yeah, yeah. So, take your cookie cake take all your cookies and, uh, and align them in a cake farm and have a cookie cake 
well, I'm going to have the uh, yo-yo cookies, but I also want to do a cake and I'm doing a tiered cake. And then I make, I'm trying to make animal figures to go on it that are made out of uh, gingerbread dough. Oh. oh, you need to start right now. Well, I tested. Where my, are you serving this cake? <laughs> Saturday afternoon. Okay, where? <laughs> in, in South Fort Worth. So I tested one cookie recipe to make the animals and it didn't turn out because the cookie batter rose too much. I used my ginger snap cookie recipe and they expanded too much. Is there any more of those, honey? So I have to, I think I'm going to try another regular gingerbread recipe and hopefully it won't rise as much. Mm -hmm. Dusty, do you have any suggestions? Oh, I've never made gingerbread. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the um, ginger snap recipe has quite a bit of baking soda in it. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's why it made the cookie get too, uh -huh. get too puffy. So I'm gonna try regular gingerbread dough and if that doesn't work then i'll have to use sugar cookie dough and make it extra thick and then frost it with brown frosting gingerbread might work if you cut your baking soda down yeah the one recipe that i pulled up didn't have near as much as the um ginger snap recipe did let me see if i can Pull up the picture of what I'm trying to make. Okay. So you can what, see. What, what recipe are you do. looking for? Tell me again. Ginger snap? Um, I'm sh getting ready to show you a picture of the cake I want to make. Oh, okay. You want to bake a cake. Okay. Or what I'm trying to make it look like. Here, Paulette, the cake's going to have figures on it. And the figures are going to be made out of gingerbread, hopefully. Okay. All right. Did I get that right, Gail? Yes. That's going to be some party. Please take pictures of that too. Okay. Let's see. Here it is. Janine, did you freeze or are you just standing still? Hey, did, did you go? Did you oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Is that gorgeous? That's great. Oh, that's beautiful. So see these little deer? Yeah. They look like they're made out of gingerbread and that's what I'm trying to do. But the cookie cutter that I ordered is really too big. Mm -hmm. I needed a smaller cookie cutter. Mm. Mm. But I ordered a fox, a deer and a bear, but they're not proportion <laughs> because the fox is bigger than the deer. <laughs> Well, can, can you trace one of those on a piece of paper and then just trace around it and cut it out that way? You know, I might be able to do that. Can you put the larger, larger one on the bottom and the small ones on top? Maybe look like it's uh, farther away. Oh. Yeah, farther yeah. away. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's a good perspective. Um, yeah. Junior. Um, and adjust it to the size that you want and then print it and then use that as your cutout. I could do that. Oh, so, um, oh my goodness. I'm oh. planning to put oh. more frosting. I'm planning to put more frosting on the cake than what that picture shows. Mm -hmm. Are y'all okay. so cute? Aren't they precious? Oh, I love them. Now, I'm not doing all of this, but they've got some really fun ideas. Yeah, here too. Yeah. Oh, oh. those are some fancy sugar cookies. Yes, yeah. they are. Those are really fancy sugar cookies. Yeah. And that's that's a, that's a cheese ball. That's a cheese ball. <laughs> Ooh, with almonds, slivered almonds. That's a really cool say, idea. Oh, it's cheesy. Now I might be able to do that. <laughs> oh, that is <laughs> oh, oh, how cute. That's another one. Oh, wow. Oh. Are these all things you've made? 
No, those are all things you can make. Oh, okay. I love your creative ideas. Yeah. Well, I'm stealing from somebody else. <laughs> so, so actually, are you going to have three three different cakes? How, I mean, how how many cakes are you going to bake? Because that looks I'm like they're, they're stacked up. Okay, so this looks like the bottom. Actually, it looks like both pieces is three layers. Okay. So maybe one smaller than the other. Okay. I think I'm probably gonna do two layers of the two different sizes. Okay. So make the other thing that I could do is make the bottom the the velvet cake with green food color. Do the top one, French vanilla with raspberry filling. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I, I actually, is what you do. I actually have to start on that tonight. That would actually go really well because it would look like the green is the grass and the ground, and the vanilla and the strawberries the sky with the sunset. <laughs> oh, there you go. Or sunrise. Red red. Yeah, and I'm not sure what they've used here for trees. It looks like rosemary, possibly. Yeah, it does look some, like rosemary. I have some rosemary bushes out front, so I can use some sprigs of rosemary for my trees. Oh, cool. Just so cute. But I'll probably put a little more frosting on it than that because I don't like yeah. the cakes. Picture stuff. Cool. So uh, that's what I'm planning to work on, and I'll probably start baking the cake tonight. Wow. Mm. Not real fair. It's <coughs> given me so much to think about today. I, I almost hate to, to call time on this, but we're past an hour. Wow. <laughs> Oops. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I absolutely love this group and everything that it stands for. Oh, me too. Me too. Tomorrow, Paul Deemer, singer songwriter with the Texas Winds. Yay. And I hate to miss Paul, so tell him I said hello. Okay. I'll hate to miss. He always does such a great job. Will we see you Monday, Gail? Uh, I believe so. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll. We'll. Ha I'll have to look at my my meeting schedule for next week. Gail's doing some important stuff to uh, make us even better. Oh, yay. Ooh. Yes. Administrative things. And we, we salute her for that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And we, we have somebody new that will be joining us later this month. Okay, great. Ooh. A new participant? Uh, no, a new presenter. Oh. oh. Good. Oh. Will you give us a clue or a hint or something? It's another museum. Oh. 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 Mm. Oh. I bet it's a history museum. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Dinosaur bones. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't here for that conversation. No, that was, no. That was, that was, was that yesterday at the cafe? Yeah. We would love to have uh, Peggy Spears email or for you to give her. Uh, we're all thinking about a list of things that we'd like for Peggy Spear to pr uh, present. Because she okay. said she would love our suggestions. Okay. So however you think would be the best way to do it. If you want to send a list rather than for her to get seven or eight lists from all of us. Hey, guys. I got I got to go. Bye, Don. We'll see you later, Don. Have a Bye. great day. Bye, Myra. Oops. Gone. <laughs> the only thing that I um, said, that was my idea, was to give it to you. So she only got one list. But then I thought, well, she might prefer to get it from each of us individually to attach the likes to the people. You know, the well, I, I will send you all her email address. Thank you. And if it's okay with you all, I will send her your information. Great. Cool. Is okay. that okay? Yeah. Yes. Thank yes. you. Right. Have a good day, Miss Gail. And you, you all as well. I'll have fun you. at your shower. Okay, I will. We'll see you Monday. Bye. We'll okay, bye bye. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Sky. Bye bye. Bye, Teddy. Bye, Teddy. Bye. I enjoyed it. It's a great show, great show.